It's one thing to go Dutch on a date, it's another to pay your mooching boyfriend's way through an entire luxury holiday. That's the scenario facing Reddit user Cassette, who shared her tale of a woeful vacation spent walking out for a man she'd been dating five months. Brad, 31, expected his new girlfriend, 29, to hand over her wallet for every single meal. By the end of the trip, she was ready to ditch his ass. There's one catch, he paid for the accommodation. So who's in the wrong? Is anyone right? She writes, so about a month ago, Brad, not his real name, told me he wanted to take me away for a romantic weekend, our first. He ended up choosing an expensive apartment at the beach so I offered to pay for half of the accommodation cost. But Brad refused to let me help pay and just said I should use my money as spending money so I could enjoy the weekend. From what we had talked about, I was under the assumption we would get groceries for the entire weekend and go 50 slash 50. This is what we usually do. I am on a really tight budget at the moment, and only had $150 to spare. I was guessing groceries would be about $75 each for the weekend and then I could use the rest for spending money. When we arrived at the beach for our first night there, I mentioned we should go and get our groceries from the store for the weekend and make dinner together at the apartment, thinking it would be romantic, but he was a bit tired from the drive and wanted to grab some food straight away. As I knew the area better, I pointed out the main fish and chip restaurant near the beach, the only one I knew of that had great, reasonably priced food, and he said, how about we sit down and eat? I was thinking, oh great, he wants to take me out for dinner. That's just a bit romantic. I really had no clue what was about to happen. The restaurant was one of those pay-before-you-eat places, so we go up to the counter to make our order. Brad chose a really expensive meal, and when the time comes to pay, Brad hung back and didn't make any move to reach for his wallet. I qu